Hello and welcome. In this video we are going to take a look at Laravel Anonymous Components. So let's get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a brand new Laravel project. So let's call it um, uh, View Components. Okay, now that the project is created, let's cd in there and serve the project. And let's see what we get. So let's go to port 8000. And here we have our project running. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, actually let's first open it up. So I'm going to open up a new tab and open it up in Visual Studio Code. And if we take a look at our routes, uh, we can see that this route is returning this welcome view. So if we go into resources, views, welcome, .php. So what this is doing is it is using Tailwind and it is creating these four, uh, you know, these cards documentation, Laracast, Laravel News, and Vibrant Ecosystems, okay? So these three are links, and this is just a plain diff, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, you know, create two components. One is going to be a link card, and the other is, is going to be just a simple card. And the link card is going to, you know, have, take a URL, and it is going to, you know, and when you click on it, it is going to go. So, um, Right now, if we take a look at you know this, so if I close that, so I have three links, okay, and this is uh, the div, <coughs> which is not a link, the vibrant ecosystem, okay. So and each card has a title, a description, and an SVG, and you know they also have a you know a unique URL that they all go to. So in order to create a component in uh, you know Laravel, uh, an anonymous component, you run the command php artisan make component, and you name the component. So I'm going to call mine. So since this is a welcome view, so I'm going to call it welcome dot link card, right? And you need to pass in view in order to create an anonymous component. So an anonymous component is essentially just a, you know, a view file and it does not have like a PHP class. So let's create that and let's go here and see now that you, uh, it creates, when we run the command, it creates a components directory. And since we, you know, uh, defined like a welcome dot linked link card, so it's going to create a welcome folder and there's going to be a link card that play dot PHP file inside of it. All right, so <clears throat> what we're going to do now is we're going to actually take all of this and put it in here, okay? So let me just correct the indentation a bit. Okay, so here what we're going to do is we're going to um, uh, you know, accept this href value and this title value inside of our uh, you know props and this description this part is we're, is we are going to you know get from uh, the slot of the component and let me actually do it and then um, you know you'll know what I'm saying so we're going to say add props and inside of this we're going to pass in an array with the uh, you know the uh, attributes that we're going to be accepting f uh, when where this component is being used so the first one is going to be the href and the second one is going to be the title okay and we're going to replace this value with href and this value with title right and this description is going to actually come from the slot and this 
actually this path this is also different for each link so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that and inside of it we're going to say svg path right but we're not accepting it in props we're going to create like a custom slot and we're going to pass that path in there okay so that is all we need to do our component is created and in order to use it what we're going to do is we're going to say um, x hyphen and then the name of our component which is going to be since it is you know inside of welcome folder so it'll say welcome and dot link card right so we don't need the closing actually we do need the closing type because we have defined slots in there okay and <clears throat> We have uh, you know, defined the href attribute, the prop. So we're going to copy this value and paste it in there. And the second one was title, and that is going to be documentation. Okay. Now, in order to pass this SVG path through, we need to create like a custom slot. So that's what I'm going to do. Is I'm going to say x dash slot colon and then the name of the slot which we said svg path so if you go back to component this is the name of the slot so we're going to create the closing tag and inside of this we're going to pass in that path okay that we copied from there okay now that that is out of the way we're going to take this text okay and we're going to paste it inside of our component so this is going to be the main slot which is going to be replaced with this, or which, which is going to be you know inside of this slot variable and you know the custom slot SVG path. Okay, so that should be okay. So now if we delete this documentation link and go back and refresh, okay, so we are getting what we had before, but now this is coming from a component. All right, so now let's do the same thing for the next one. So I'm going to actually copy this whole thing and notice that you know this is much cleaner I mean if this is already less markup than we have right here you know these classes that are being you know created you know again and again for this you know for just to create a link they are now inside of a component and we are using that component okay so the second one is Laracast okay so we can copy the href into here okay the title is going to be Laracast and the SVG path we can copy from here. Now let's put it in here. Let's indent it and let's copy the description. Right, and let's delete this. Now let's go refresh and see that we have what we actually needed. And let's do this again for Laravel News. LaravelNews.com. Okay, let's bring in the title, Laravel News, uh, right here, and this is going to be the SVG for it, and the description is right here, okay, and now let's delete this. All right, so if you refresh, we're getting what we had before. All right, so now this is the final one. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a separate component. And this is not going to be a link card, it's just going to be card, okay? So inside of welcome, no, actually not that. What we're going to do is we're going to use the artisan command again. And we'll just say welcome.card.view, dash dash view. And it's going to create a new component, right? So, and what we're going to do is we're going to actually take all of this and uh, put it in there. And we're going to do the same thing that we did before. We're not going to have an href, we're just going to have a title. So we'll say add props. And sorry, we're going to type in the title. And that title we're going to put here. And this SVG path, 
we're going to do the same thing. Let's say SVG path. Okay, this is going to come in from a custom slot, and this is going to come from the regular slot. Right, so we have created the component, and <clears throat> now let's use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say x dash welcome dot card this time, because we don't need the link card, and um, what we need is the title. So this is the title. We'll say title equals vibrant ecosystem, right? And this is the SVG path. Let's put in x dash x dash slot SVG path. And let's indent it and let's pick this up. Everything inside of the paragraph. Copy and let's paste it down here. And we should be good. So let's delete this. And if we go back, refresh, okay, so now we get the same thing, but, you know, it is much cleaner now, as you can see, right? So, you know, before we had this much markup, you know, just to create, you know, the opening link tag, but now it's, you know, much cleaner. And uh, this is how you can, you know, create anonymous components and, you know, save yourself, um, you know a lot of repetition especially when you're working with a you know front end uh, you know framework like tailwind uh, you know which you know involves writing a lot of classes so if you you know extract you know those things into components then you know it becomes uh, you know much easier to manage so this is it and i will see you in the next one please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you found it useful and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.